Well, folks, this young man in the ring has just taken some pictures for the TV Times. And there we go, folks, with a welterweight contest and six three-minute rounds. And this time, two falls, two submissions and a knockout will decide the winner. From Dartford, will you welcome, please, Hurricane Keith Hayward. From Kingston, Jamaica, in the blue corner, Iron Fist, Clive Myers. Here we go for the first of our main bouts of the afternoon. Six three-minute rounds, two falls to decide the first one. Keith Haywood from Dartford and Kent, 12 stone six, there he is. We haven't seen him for quite a while. And his opponent, Clive Myers, Iron Fist from Jamaica, 11 stone 11. Seconds away, round one. Keith Hayward, a European middleweight champion in the plain black shorts. And this really is going to be something of about this one. After the comedy we had from Cat Weasel, we'll have some really serious hard fighting now. Fist in uh, yellow gear this afternoon. I've never seen this before. <laughs> this part will be decided by two falls, of course. That's why we have two falls, two submissions are not count. Hence, they can take a few more risks. Figure four leg lock to Hayward. Both men with really tremendous physiques, very powerful indeed. Hayward with a tremendous record of the unpaid ranks before he turned pro. 80. And of course, Iron Fist, the British Arm Wrestling World Champion at under 15 stone. Less than a minute to go now in this first round of six. Head scissors to Hayward. Bridging in that head scissors. The referee Jeff Kay, wisely getting out of the way. He knows how quickly Iron Fist can fight. No success that time. He's only got about uh, 10 seconds to go. On the bell now. So finally, he finally got out of it a bit harshly, right on the bell there. Haywood, uh, not too happy about the way Hurricane Keith Haywood is known. And he is a tremendous speed merchant too. Let's follow him back to his corner if he gets there before the bell to start round two, which is doubtful.
seconds away, round two. This man who started as an amateur, Keith Haywood, at the age of 12, he was in the Olympic team in Moscow in 1976. In Montreal, I think. Five rounds to go and no sign of a score yet. It looks to me as there are going to be more risk of submissions here than tenfolds. Look at that tremendous throw. Caught the wrist as he went right over his shoulders. A tremendous backdrop from that height. Kneeling position. Should see yes. And he can do it too. Iron Fist can do the same, he's proving it. I think we're going to see some unusual moves here, both men. Leave the head this is the figure four style, but he hadn't got it on properly. Not with those ballet shoes of his, the very thin shoes he wears, instead of wrestling boots. He may have been sorry then. Quickest leg dive you've ever seen, I should think. The leg spread, and it's gonna that right one is gonna be forced over quite away. Yes, down it down it goes the to the canvas. Five miles, the Iron Fist dictating the situation at the moment. <laughs> Just a minute to go in the second round. And it's, and it's Hayward retaliating now with that thing spread. But he'd left the other one free. And, and uh, Iron Fist doesn't mind a bit. Two great physical Three. specimens here. Three. Cross press. Thrown off quite easily. Full Nelson switches to the double arm, held it with the legs and arms. One side with the legs, the other with the arms. And it's another attempted cross press by Iron Fist, but right on the bell of round two. Iron Fist, the man who has had nine years uh, in the unpaid ranks, the United Amateur Wrestling Club, and a Ted Hurdle and Tony Merritt, and uh, he turned pro in early sub in the 70s. Only, but only part-time because he was a freelance photographer then. Weightlifting, he has three records and of course the arm wrestling. So quite a physical man this one. Seconds away, round three. Tremendous athlete as we go into round three, four to go and no score. And Hayward trying that same double arm with his feet and his hands operating on a different arm. Finally, he makes it over. Double leg Nelson, but the leg chop gets him off in time. Before even the count of two. Love that. Tremendous threat. Move from the single finger into lock. Getting the double into lock. Iron Fist looks down as if to say, what can I make out of this? And Hayward gets there first. Full weight on the feet, on the uh, Iron Fist hands. That's the one. Just once he put him off balance, though. onto his heels, I bet of course he got the hands free quite easily. So the single finger to lock is on. Back to the single wrist lever. And half Nelson coming up there. Yeah. Now. Oh. Uh, sh further shoulder press attempt by Iron Fist. 
Still only a count of one. He'd have to get his man considerably more weakened before he could try that. And hope to get away with it. Turns the arm as he throws. Four Nelson Hayward. A minute to go in the third. Switch, Four Nelson. Oh. This time the jump back. It could have been interesting, but it come off. And a suplex. And a follow-up for a press. And it's a danger one for Hayward. He's got it. The shoulder blades were down. The head was up and being held up. But the shoulder blades went right down. Two minutes, 20 seconds of round three. Iron Fist, the first pinfall. In two minutes, 20 seconds of round three, the first fall goes to the blue corner. And Iron Fist, Clive Myers. Iron Fist, Clive Myers, to give him his full title. Well, what action from these two, and we're only halfway through the box. I, for one, hoping that Haywood can come back into this by getting an equalizer, and then we'll really see a battle for the winner later. Seconds away, round four. Three to go, round four. Myers in the yellow pants, leading one to nil. Fist has his own way of repelling those. Again, agreeing to the double finger at the lock. But not for more than a second or two. Right over the top, a shoulder press, and Myers could have the second here. Iron Fist. Not quite. Too close, didn't he? I guess not too wise not to go with that. Really done some damage. The referee Jeff K tears around to get in the position to count that big fall, but no danger. Not for long enough. Backhammer out of Hayward. <laughs> These two men trying to outdo each other, not only by strength and fast moves, but by guile as well. And both oh, clever moves come out here in front us. And I'm not quite sure what the other one's thinking here. David with his full Nelson again. Not quite near enough to climb the ropes. Half a minute left now in the fourth. And finally, Iron Fist out and into an attempted cross press. He's never happy with just escaping Iron Fist. He always goes for a counter move. But he can get the advantage immediately following the escape. He won't just escape and stay back. Or very, very seldom. Right on the bell. Round four. Some great wrestling. Let's have a look at these two men in their respective corners. Haywood on the right, of course. Keith Hayward from Dartford. He's got the weight advantage here over the man on the left by uh, about nine or ten pounds. 
but uh, it certainly seems an even bout at the moment, despite the fact that Iron Fist is, is leading by 1-0. Seconds away, round five. Round five, two to go. And yes, another chance yes. in this fifth round for Keith Hayward to get the equalizing fall or submission in order to give us a very exciting finish in round six. But he's got to get that fall this round or he's too late, and this is by a knockout, of course. Straight finger jab, that. No question of fist. And all the way down, over the top rope, dragging Hayward onto the top rope. Hayward a little bit angry about that. But he lands on his knees, toes, and hands there. And I wouldn't like to do that from that height. Heck of a height up the top rope there. Too far over the knee hold. Can't hold the shoulder blades down from there. took a bit of a battering then and Hayward again doesn't like that yes it, up comes the forearm smashes now the first the first of the boat and Hayward only goes to those when absolutely necessary here come the chops and the, and the feet oh a bit of savat here from Myers drop kick from Hayward This is going to develop to a really tough finish, this one. It's just a minute to go in the fifth. Only three minute rounds, remember. And it's a double arm. Myers going for top in a beautiful suplex there. Follow up, cross press. And could have had the finish 2-0 then. But he couldn't hold it down. Check again both both times despite his lack of weight nicely over the top by Hayward this could be a cross press that'll count it has yes in just two minutes 40 seconds of round five the equalizing fall to Keith Hayward of Dartford with one round to go in two minutes 40 seconds of round five the equalizing fall goes to the hurricane Keith Hayward Well, Keith Hayward finally is back into it. It seems to be, a, oh, it's just a matter of hardly wait to get at each other, and now any second they will. Seconds away for the sixth and final round. Now, final round six, one fall each. Just two very strong men, masters of the art of uh, professional wrestling as well, of course, not to mention other martial arts. Danger, danger for Hayward here. Feet at the side of Byers' waist, might have take some of the pressure, but the finger at the lock was still on when he landed down. Back elbow with a swinging uppercut. Just a couple of minutes to go in the bout now. Can we get a result here? One fall each. Bear hug, Hayward. Jeff K, the referee, trying to get them away from the ropes. On a break. Yeah. 
Side headlock to Iron Fist. Very quick head mare from the kneeling position. Again the head mare. Haywood hesitated and he's sorry you did. Another head mare. Just one minute to go in this bout now. Body check. More head mare. Oh, he loves those head mare from any position. One handed. Again, back to the double interlock figures. They were a bit mad at that move, too. Half a minute to go now. It'll be really quick to get a result from this. And they're always starting the same way now. They know exactly where they are. 15 seconds. Looks very much like a one fall each draw now. Seven seconds. It's got to be now or never. And it's never. 